along with our European partners, we will continue to engage all sides. And we continue to stress to President Yanukovych and the Ukrainian government uh, that they have the primary responsibility to prevent the kind of uh, terrible violence that we've seen, to withdraw riot police, to work with the opposition to restore security and human dignity and move the country forward. And this includes progress towards a multi-party technical government that can work with the international community on a support package and adopt reforms necessary for free and fair elections next year. You know, Ukrainians are a proud and resilient people who've overcome extraordinary challenges in their history, and that's a pride and strength that I hope they draw on now. Uh, meanwhile, I've urged the military in Ukraine to show restraint and to let civilians pursue the dialogue necessary for progress. Uh, we've obviously seen reports of a truce between the government and the opposition. If uh, the truth is, uh, truce is implemented, it could provide space for the sides to resolve their disagreements peacefully. And going forward, we'll continue to do whatever we can to support Ukrainians as they seek a peaceful solution and respond to the aspirations of the Ukrainian people for a strong, unified democracy that's fully integrated into the international community.